everyone, it's Ale Alejandra here and a welcome back to my channel. I have another makeup tutorial for you guys today. To create today's look, I went ahead and used all three of Hank and Henry's My Alter Ego kits. All three eye kits contain three different finishes. You have your Luster Lights, which is a raw material. This raw material is considered an effects pigment. Henry made sure to make it clear to me that it was not a loose glitter. So unlike loose glitter, which is made out of plastic, calcium aluminum borosilicate is actually a super finely ground powder glass, which is going to give you that really beautiful shimmer. The eye kits also include a matte shade and a pressed pearl which gives you a variety of finishes and colors to play with. Alrighty, you guys, so I got a little head start and started on one eye already. I also went ahead and prepped our skin so we are ready to go for foundation, but I used Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer by Tarte, and I also used their Hydrating Booster, which helps with giving your skin that really beautiful glow. So if you guys can tell, this makeup look is kind of dragged out. So we want to make sure that we prime our lid very generously with the product. Um, I went ahead and used Tarte's Shape Tape to prime my lid, which I also use to conceal my under eye. But definitely a great product. I love the consistency. It's nice and thick. It really helps, you know, give you great coverage. But with eyeshadows and um, priming the lid, we get some really nice seamless eyeshadows. It blends out perfect and it really gives it a great foundation for your eyeshadows to build up from. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut up now and let's go ahead and jump right into the makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the King's Queen, which is this gorgeous ginger orange, I don't know, super zesty, beautiful orange shade. You want to start on the outer corner, flicking it out like if you're creating a wing effect and dragging it about halfway into the crease. You want to make sure that you're also bringing it up pretty high up towards the brow bone just because we are going to be using a couple shades for the transition and it's just going to make sure that you really get to really see all three colors. So next we are jumping into the Temptress palette and this color is so gorgeous. So this red shade is actually called Whiskey Dry and I never filled you guys in on what this color that is on my lid already is called. It's called Ooh Betch. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little Whiskey Dry on our Ooh Betch. and we're going in with Chingona, which is this really dark black shade. So this is gonna really give our eye crease some depth, but we gotta be super careful because we don't wanna look super crazy. So take it slow, build it up, and you'll get there. I'm using a smaller fluffy brush, and this one here is from Blink Canvas. This is gonna really help detail and buff out at the same time. to cut my crease so that our lids are nice and vivid. to really give the wing a more precise point. Back up, ooh, 
vetch. We're gonna go ahead and apply to the inner eyelid corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this Iconic brush. It has a very narrow point, so it's gonna get into the very hard to reach areas and really allow us to detail it. Before we go ahead and go back in and refine our cut crease with Chingona, which is our darkest color, we're going to go ahead and use the King's Queen Luster Lights right on our lid to fill in that little white patch in the center of our lid to make it match the other eye. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Sigma Short Shader E20 brush. <laughs> is not messing around. So now that we got the king's queen on there and we got glitter all over the fucking place, it is time to go in with Chingona and correct our crease a little bit so that we look a little cleaner and it looks a little bit more precise. used the dark color with. Here we go again with Uvetch and we're just going back right below the brow bone where Chingona meets Uvetch. We got it right in there just to get, we're just trying to bring back a little bit more of that orange. The last step is to use concealer to really clean up the outer corner of the eye. This is going to really make the whole thing look so much cleaner, so much more defined. It's going to really help distinguish the wing from the crease and just really give it more of a finished look. I will go ahead and apply mascara after. I'm going to be using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and then I'll be applying my lash because we are focusing on the My Alter Ego kits. I will be beating my face off camera, but don't worry, I will be showing you the complete look. Um, I'm so excited, I'm already so in love. So here we have it, here is the complete look. I went ahead and I paired it off with a ColourPop lip color in the shade Mama. I thought it would be perfect since we're already going with this whole Latin vibe going on with the names. So Mama it is. I also topped it off with a Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the color Forbidden Fruit just to give it a little bit more of a glossy effect. I just really wanted to do something that would tie in the lid color and give it kind of more of a summer spring look because we are right around the corner. I'm totally in love with these eye kits. The blendability, the wearability, and the pigmentation is on point. If it wasn't two o'clock in the morning, I would probably be going out somewhere, but I'm probably just gonna end up washing this off, which is kind of like making me a little bit sad, but I'm gonna get some good pictures out of it, and I filmed this video, and I hope that you guys are able to really take a thing or two from this video. If you guys have any further questions or comments about anything else that I didn't go over products wise or anything period, don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comment box below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any further questions about anything else that I might have not gone over, 
don't be scared to leave a comment in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe if you guys love what you guys are seeing but I will definitely be catching you guys on my next video thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon